Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review In a Violent Nature, and this is a new horror slasher film that is very unique in the way that writer-director Chris Nash brings it to life, because so much of this film is from the perspective of like a Jason Voorhees type vengeful spirit, uh, played by Ry Barrett. And Johnny, this spirit, awakens when his locket is taken from his burial ground underneath a collapsed fire tower. And he winds up systematically destroying the group of young friends for which one of them took his locket. And this film is a lot of the time shot from directly behind this figure. And cinematographer Pierce Dirks really captures such an engaging and interesting visual perspective. And also, this film looks great. It has a that smaller tight squared aspect ratio. It has that graininess. It feels like it was shot on film. It feels like that old school 80s kind of horror. That slasher kind of experience that you felt in the 80s from Friday the 13th. And this film has just very dynamic camera work. There's moments with so much tension. Nash is able to build up some great tension at certain moments, including one of its final shots, and just capturing the calm, but also the unnerving unknown of the wilderness, the woods. And this film is very interesting in the way that it's told from this perspective, and also its sound design. You hear every little bit of what's going on in the woods from Johnny's perspective. The makeup and everything for him is downright creepy. But what really stands out about this film is the mutilation that he does to all of his victims. There's one in particular with a hook that is one of the most disturbing, disgusting, practical effects I think I've ever seen in a movie. This goes there. If you like blood and gut kills and crazy over-the-top kills, this movie has it. And Johnny is just this unstoppable force type character. But also there's an interesting level of empathy because we feel for him. He's He was done wrong. And he's going through his journey and we're there with him systematically like chopping up these young people but you have Andrea Pavlovic who plays Chris who has a little bit more meat to her experience in this film than the others even up to its like final 10 minute stretch which is kind of unexpected in the way that it goes really adds some layers of themes and ideas maybe not the most impactful at that point in the film where it feels like it really should have been wrapping up for itself but it still has some interesting things to say about just the wilderness and the dangers and revenge. And there's just such a creepy, unnerving experience. It is slow. It takes its time. It's very methodical, just like Johnny, um, the character. It might put some people off. But this is such an interesting exercise in filmmaking that I was definitely enticed to check it out, and I'm glad that I did. It is creepy, it's unnerving, it's one of the most interesting and unique horror films you're going to see in a while, and definitely one of the better ones of this year so far. But those are my thoughts on In a Violent Nature. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.